Hello, Sparklog here, and welcome to a new series here on my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing the game Ooblets. If you haven't heard of Ooblets before, it's kind of a cross between Pokemon and Harvest Moon and maybe a little bit of Animal Crossing. It's still a fairly new game. It's still early access and they're still releasing updates for it. But the art style is absolutely adorable. I love the gameplay of it. I have actually played this game before. I just hadn't gotten as far as I could have gotten. So I figured I would post it here on my YouTube channel. So we're going to start off by hitting new game. What's your name, buddy? Spell it out. We are going to name our character Sparkle. Hey there, Sparkle. How do you want to look? Well, I want to have pink hair for sure. There's a couple different hair options here. But I'm going to have pink hair because pink is my favorite color. And then here are the hair options that we have at the moment. The little bun buns are so cute, but I'm going to go for the pigtails. And then I'm pretty pasty, so we're going to do pasty skin. Ready? Let's get you some clothes. So there's a few different clothing options here as well. And my favorite one is the little cardigan with a striped dress and the belt. I'm gonna go for this little outfit here. You look pretty good, Sparkle. I feel good, let's go. Your life has been a giant toot. It's quite unfortunate. So far, you've spent all of that tooty life on the isolated Aro Island, where the people are stuffy and there aren't even any ooblets. That's why you decided to leave. You're off to the distant shores of mainland Oob. Let's just take a second to appreciate the beautiful art style of this game. It's so cute. I love it. A place you've only heard vague tales of. A fable land of oddity creativity, and, and ooblets! So yes, here is our little land of oob. It's super cute, and here's the mayor, Mayor Tinsel. Oh, Biddle Boy, are you from the Ooblet High Council? Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? I, uh, no, I'm Sparkle from Auro Island. Oh then, how do? Welcome to Badge Town. My name is Tinsel. Oh, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? I'm looking to start a new life somewhere, possibly here. Splenda, were you looking to buy a house? Maybe invest in some local economy? Well, I have no money or skills or personal possessions. So, a true entrepreneur then. I can work with this though. Yeah, I've been needing a helper for my ever-expanding mayoral task list. And there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have if you help me with all the junk I gotta do around here. You in? Free houses don't just get offered every day. I'm in, what can I help you with first? Fantastic. first off. Wait, where are your ooblets? I don't have any. They don't have ooblets where I'm from. Uh, not even an ooga? It's going to be tough to do much without ooblets here. Well, your local ooblet club will probably be able to give you one. What ooblet club are you in? Um, we don't have ooblet clubs where I'm from either. What sort of... No bother, you can join one here. Let me fetch our local club leaders, and you can introduce yourself to some townsfolk in the meantime. So, we're off to this new land, being offered a free house. Let's speak to little Ara here. You. Digging your whole deal you got going on. Very confused chic. I'm Sparkle and I'm new here. My fave type of person, one I don't know yet. I'm Ara. Nice to meet you, Ara. There's little Milu. I'm Milu. I saw your boat pull in. So are you some sort of rich tourist coming to buy all our postcards and novelty t-shirts? No, I'm Sparkle. I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, black. What am I supposed to do with all these novelty t-shirts? So here's our first little ooblets. These are clompers. Look how adorable. Little clompers. Let's meet this little dude over here. Churls. 
You're standing awfully close to me. Mm. Oh, hi. I'm Sparkle, and I'm new in town. Mm. I suppose you'll be wanting to know my name now, huh? Mm. That's okay. You can tell me when you're ready. Mm. Okay, fine. I'm Trolls. I make clothes at my shop, Kibon Bon. Mm. I'd shake your hand, but I don't do that. Okay, Trolls. Trolls is a little bit weird. It's a little strange. But, I mean, hey, COVID, shaking hands. Can't really do that now. Here's Ragnolia. Are you the researcher since it I requested three years ago? No, I'm just new here. I'm Sparkle. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Ragnolia, and I operate the Learny, which serves as a variety of purposes. Too complicated to get into now. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. She gave me a grumbore. Gimme, gimme. It keeps track of all your tasks, items, friends, that sort of thing. How does it do all of that? Science and magic and junk. You'll figure it all out, or you won't. I have no metric of your aptitude for these sort of things. Open your grum board with tap. So here we can see our inventory, our friends that we've met, our little ooblets, our badges, and our almanac. So these are like the ooblets that we ran into at the moment. So if you ever played Pokemon, it's kind of like that and they're little Pokedex, but so I ran into these, but I haven't like caught any of them. So we're gonna go ahead and exit up here. Let's meet this little guy here, Pult. Howdy doody. Looking for a bun? Yeah. I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. Hello. Huh, to Batch Town? Well, I'm Pult, local Bungle delivery fella. Hello. Here's a little gift from the Bungle Bee Company to welcome you to town. Gave me 10 little Bungle Bee buns. Nice and soft, a good source of energy. Contains 40 energy. Hello. They're the finest prepackaged tree bees in Oob. Oh, Eat bungle buns for a quick and easy boost to your energy and mood, probably. And then here's a little Taffy. Taffy do, yes, it's true. Okay, then, I'm Sparkle. Go away now. Taffy's weird. A little bit weirder than Charles. Double. A customer, where can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Not winning customer of the month now, are we? Well, when you do scrounge up some money, spend it here at Cuddle Cups. I'm double. I serve the best and only bean juice in town. Oh, here she is. Mead. How do, dearie? My number is not up yet, is it? I'm Sparkle. I'm moving to the old farmhouse. Oh, good. I'm Mead, and I run the little gardening shop here, so I guess we'll be seeing each other a lot. If you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. And if anyone starts asking too many questions, tell me first. Splenda, everyone is here now. So basically, Ubla Clubs are little social groups that each have their own themes and personalities. These are our local Ubla Club leaders. I thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. Okay, so I think there's like four different clubs, so and they each have different club leaders. The, the Friend Buns is led by Melda. We'd love to have you join Friend Buns. We're delightful. It says that this club is for sweet cuties who love cute things. So if you join Friend Buns, then you'll get a little tud here. This one is Peak Snubs, run by Basil. Peak Snubs don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me. The club of board leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. So if you join Peak Snubs, you'll get a little biddle. And here's Vidion. I don't really know what to say about minpins or what to do with my hands. So here's a little club minpins, the club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. Me on the social interactions part, not very good at that. And if you join minpins, then you'll get a side key. And then last but not least, there's Moss Sprouts. If you like adventure, the outdoors, and nature, you should join me on Moss Sprouts. And this is ran by Outgrid, which is the cutest name. It's kind of like Ingrid, but Outgrid because she loves the outdoors. And then you'll get a little shrumbo if you join the Moss Sprouts. So this club I think is adorable, and this little tud is so cute. Uh, whatever I played before, I actually joined the Moss Sprouts Club because I could not resist. Um, this kind of speaks to me too because. I'm not very good at social interactions, so that kind of speaks to me, but I don't know about the clever part. Prob's not gonna join this one. So since I've actually already done this club before, I think I'm gonna go ahead and join the Friend Buns Club. Let's go ahead and join that. Join Friend Buns, yeah. I knew you'd pick us. 
I've got the cutest, patootiest baby ooblet for you to love and care for. Look at her little Todd. He's so cute. Little Tuddy. Oh, you two look like a perfect match. Now that you've got an ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Ooblets are mysterious creatures, and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate and contrived competitive dance scenarios for them to show off. You'll be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved through the medium of dance. Oh, and here comes a worthy competitor to let you practice. So it's kind of like in Pokemon how you have your battles, but these are dance battles instead. Maybe a little bit more humane. So this is going to be our first dance battle with Lump Stump. Here's where you pick which Ooblets you want to dance. And you only have one so far, so it's an easy choice. So we're going to pick our little Tud here and hit ready. This music is also popping. Like, I can't help but to, like, dance around. I love this music. Each turn, you draw a random dance move for you to choose from. You have some basic moves that will always be available. Each ooblet has its own unique move. With some experience, you can learn new moves. Moves cost beats, and you get fresh beats to use every turn. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, or do other junk. The goal is to get this number of points before your opponent. Okay, so if we see here, this card will give us one hype, and it says the hype increases the power of dance moves. This will give us two points, gain one hype, still three points, and then the top left corner shows us how many beats it's going to cost. I always like to build up hype, so I'm going to go ahead and perform this move. So we just got one hype here, so all of the moves in the future will be plus one point. So I can go ahead and get another hype if we wanted to, but this will cost two beats. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. Gaining hype is so helpful and you will thank yourself in the future. And then we don't have any more beats, so we're gonna go ahead and hit in turn. And then this little lump stumps turn. So we have three beats. We need to get to a total of 20 points. So I'm just gonna start racking up those points, I think. Maybe we'll do gain another hype and then we'll do a one beat move here and we'll earn a total of five points so if we didn't have these three hypes then that would have only been two points so that definitely helped us a lot okay so we don't want little lump stump to beat us here i don't think he will but we can actually steal three of his, or we can actually steal six of his points i don't think i want to do that because that would take up all of our beats so we're going to do this Turn. That's a great card. I quite like Lump Stump. Lump Stump is a good little ooblet. If you play this game and you're done dancing, then you're doing it wrong. Todd earned 40 experience points. Get seed from Lump Stump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how you quote unquote catch the new ooblets. So what they do is they just poop out a little seed and then you plant them instead of you like actually catching it. You just get a little baby, easy peasy. Anywho, you should head to your farmhouse now and get settled in. Meet Tinsel at the farmhouse. Don't you wish you could just move into a brand new town with all these adorable little ooblets and get a free house. That would be the life. Look at our little Todd following us. He's so cute. He's just trailing behind. He's adorable. Cute, cute. Here's our little farmhouse. It's a little bit worse for wares. House. Yes, we see the house. It's not much right now, but what do you expect for a free house? I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. Oh, wow, what a junkyard. I mean, a very unique property with a lot of potential. Oh. I brought you a couple of things to get you started with your farm. 
So she gave me three sweetie beady seeds and a basic scraper. Give it a shot. Just don't dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here. Okay, need creepy, creepy, creepy. Okay, so we can use these little arrows here and hit Q and we can see the little grid here. I'm going to start it over here, I guess. And then we have three and then I guess we'll do it this way. And then we'll plant our little sweetie beaties. Splenda, now you just need to water it. Here's a dribbly can you can use. The names in this game are so cute. Nothing is called what you would expect. The little watering can is called a dribbly can. Adorable. Fill it up with water from the tap here and then use it to water your seeds. Gotta fill up our little dribbly can. So as you can see, this game is still fairly new, so she literally doesn't even have the watering can in her hand. So there are a few glitches and bugs. She's just watering with an invisible dribbling, dribbly can. But what do you expect oh, no. with a new game? You got it. Now all you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. You're already a pro at farming, maybe semi-pro. You'll improve. Anywho, you must be pretty tired, so get some rest. I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. My little vibey farm here. Yes, my house is all gross and ugly, but we'll definitely have to make it super cute. And there's little fireflies. I hope they add seasons later on in this game. There aren't any seasons right now. Oh, look, we have our dribbly kid in our hand now. Go to sleep. We're going to go to sleep in our little cot. Good morning, little Sparkle and little Tud. Good morning, little Tud. Also, we want to probably go ahead and plant our little lump stump here. So we're gonna go ahead and plant our little lump stump and water all of our little plants. Go explore around a little bit or something. So I'm gonna get the watering can out of my hand and we can actually like break these so I can break this. So it will cost a total of six energy to complete breaking that. And we just got a planklet, tiny bits of wood. Cool, so we'll need that for like building and stuff. So a lot of this stuff we can actually pick up. So like these little um, button boys here, we can pick these up. So pick up all these little things. Here's a spore, spore bay probably. I would assume spore bay. Cool. And then we can go ahead and chop all of these little branches. And then the little white dot above their head, I think it means, I think it means you haven't talked to them before or you haven't talked to them that day. I think that's what it means. So we're gonna go over here. Look how they run. Absolutely adorable. Super cute. You hold shift to run, by the way. So we're gonna talk to Mayor Tinsel here. Help Tinsel with this task. Gets you access to Tinsel Task Board. Let's do it. Nice you found the town again. You probably noticed my open office layout and that it's cardboard boxes. Turns out an aggressive little clicky class has made Town Hall its home. Every time I try to go in, it starts biting my ankles. I guess they voted for the other guy. Maybe if you make a big show of beating him in a dance battle, it'll get enough of them to leave so I can start using my office. Be prepared, they're right on the other side of this door. I actually don't know if I'm ready for little Tud here to take on a clicky claws all by himself, but I could go ahead and give him a go. Let's talk to Mayor Tinsel again. We're going to turn this town into something amazing, like the ice cream sundae for dinner of towns. So now that we've talked to her, the little white dot left above her head. So let's just try. Let's see what happens. See if we can beat this little clicky claws. There's our little clicky claws. And we're gonna go ahead and select Tud here. Okay. So we have three beats. So we're gonna go ahead and gain a hype. I'm all about getting that hype. And then we'll earn three points. In turn, so our clicky claws. 
Noah's turn. Gain a beat, this is actually zero beat, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll gain a beat. That's cool, we have four now. And we can do both of these. In turn. And then let's go ahead and gain another beat. This cost zero. I think we're gonna beat this little clicky claws. And then we'll gain one hype, I guess. And then after that, we'll gain six points. So close. We're one point away. Super close. Sorry, Clicky Claws. I don't think you're gonna win. Okay, we just need to earn four points and we will win. Ted earned 40 experience points. Get a seed from Clicky Claws, yeah. Please, poop out a little seed, Clicky Claws. Good job, little cl Clicky Claws. You did great. There's this little Clicky Claw seed. So we'll have to plant that whenever we go back to our farm. I knew you could do it. I totally hadn't come to terms with the permanence of my cardboard outdoor office. Now that I can use Town Hall, we can get started on all the projects I have planned to save Batch Town. Here's what I'm thinking. So if you remember, Tinsel let us move into a house for free because we agreed to help her around town. So we are going to go ahead and complete all these tasks. I'm not gonna read through them right now because we'll, we'll do them as we go. So we'll just go ahead and exit that. I know there's a lot to do, so we should probably start with some of the easier ones. First thing you should do is fix up your house. It's a bit of an eyesore. You can also see what else needs to be done by walking around town. Anywho, I'll be moving into my new office here if you need me. Tinsel task done, reopen town hall. So let's talk to little Milu over here. You're still here. If you're sticking around, you should get on my good side. Might come in handy. Okay, Milu, we're not scared of you. And then here's actually our little ooblet town leader, our little ooblet club leader. Oh, hi again, we never got properly introduced. I'm Melda, the friend bun's club leader. Hi Melda, I'm Sparkle. Very cute name, welcome to town. I agree, it's a very cute name. It fits in with the front buns. Sparkle fits in perfectly with the front buns. Okay, so as you can see, there's like a little mayor tinsel symbol over here, and that's how we accept the different requests. So uh, we had to clear out all the mystery cans being dumped mysteriously in Badge Town and use them to make bait. So let's do it. Please do not lick the reconstitutor from Videon. Okay, yeah. Videon, we won't. I wasn't about to do anything like that. Apologies, we've had some prior issues with invalid reconstitutor inputs. What is the reconstitutor? It is a machine that transforms a variety of things into slurry. Said slurry can be processed into seed dangle bait. Seed, da seed dangle bait? Surely you must know seed dangling. Seed dangling. It's when you put stuff on a string and dangle that string into the seed to catch things, aka okay, fishing. Look, there's a seed dangling spot right over there. Did we see that old lady earlier? She was like looking around her shoulder. You're being a little creepy over here. There's a little seed dangle spot. Try it yourself. It's very simple, even for you. Here's some bait. Thanks, Vidion. Okay, so we can go here to seed dangle, do a little bit of seed dangling. Choose our basic bait and cast. See what we get. You actually don't have to do anything here. She just does it all by herself. Don't even have to press space or anything. Cool, speedy grow. Cool, cool. Seed dangling, very straightforward. Do you see her? Look at her. If you collect any mysterious cans, be sure to put them in the reconstitutor to get more bait. And again, do not lick the reconstitutor. Videon, we're not going to lick it. Calm down. That's weird. Probably ta it's probably Taffy. That's who's licked it before. It's definitely it was Taffy. So we're gonna go over here and collect all the cans. Mystery can, where is all this trash even coming from? Who knows, but we're just gonna pick all the cans here and then go to the reconstitutor and add in all the cans. 
so we can only add in like 12 at a time it looks like so we'll wait until two of them finish there we go we got all of our cans in yay so we just finished a tinsel task reconstitute all the mystery cans so like every day there's more mystery cans around so we'll just continue doing the little mystery cans this is the learny a little learny and here's Ragnolia. No, don't leave. Oh, hey. How's the Grumbor working out for you? No unscheduled explosions, I take it? Grumbor? That magic book thing I gave you, it's called a Grumbor. Oh, that. So far, it's been pretty useful, but also inert. Good, good. I'm nearly certain it will stay that way. And if we go here, here's another little tinsel task. Help tinsel with this task? Yes. What is this thing? That's my new Ooblet research scanner for a project on Ooblet psychology. Can I help out? Oh yes, definitely. Have you got a background in meta -gra graviton counter physics? Um, I don't think so. Hmm, well you might still be able to help. I've been having a hard time collecting Ooblets myself, so I could use a research assistant to find specimens. I can give you a reward of 50 gummies for each unique ooblet you bring me. Gummies are the currency in this game. I just need to scan them real quick and then you can have them back. Oh, and if you bring a rare or gleamy variant of each ooblet type, I'll give you an even bigger reward. I can do that. Just stop by with each unique ooblet you've grown and put them in the ooblet scanner here. You should try it out with any ooblets you already have too. So we are going to go ahead and put our little Tud in here. Little baby Tud. We should give him a name. Have you got some new ooblets for me to scan into my database? Yup. Looks like an interesting specimen. Let's get to scanning. Little Tud. All done. Here's your disbursement for being my research assistant. Thank you. Our first gummies. And we just completed another tinsel task. Cool beans, cool beans. Let's go here and do this tinsel task in Arma's house. This tinsel task is super cool, so definitely want to get it done early on. We earned a new badge. Hobdob, you earned your first badge. We're all about badges here, so here's hoping I'll be re I'll be awarding you with a bunch more. Check your grammar for what other badges you can get. Thanks, Mayor Tinsel. Look at 10 thingy doodles as the badge that we just got. And we got 40 wishies, which is kind of another form of currency here. So we're going to help with this tinsel task. Hey, Aura, what's this thing? My printy press. I use it to make friendship stickers, but it's all goofed up. Friendship stickers? Oh, that's just a little thing I came up with where people in Batch Town can give each other stickers to signify their friendship. The more stickers you have from someone, the closer your friendship is with them. People were really into it, but then my printing press got all borked up now, and the town sticker supply has run dry. If you wanted to help me find the biddies I need to fix it, we can get to printing stickers again in no time. Okie dokie! Splenda, I'll leave a box out front for you to drop things off in. So a lot of this game is collecting items and then turning them in. Collecting items and turning them in. Collecting and turning them in. So we're gonna see what we need to deposit. So we need six of these sorbets. We actually already have four, so we'll add that. We need 10 nernies and one sweetie beady. We're actually growing some sweetie beaties. So that's why you always wanna make sure that you're growing some things. And we just got an obsidian, which is a very rare item and collect all of them don't sell them don't reconstitute them just collect them and keep them because you will need all of them and here's a little clothlet it says it's a valuable clothy resource it is valuable it's also very expensive to grow but those are super valuable too so so i'm going to go ahead and head to the little seed shop so we don't have a lot of gummies right now to buy anything but we'll buy what we can and his little mead just got another little token talk to mead oh, don't forget to water your plants every day and rip out any weeds that get too close okay so here is 
the little plants that we buy. Like I said, clothets are very expensive. There are 32 gummies. We have 51. So let's go ahead and get some little care root seeds. They're only five gummies. Boring and healthy, but you can put them in care root cake, and then it's the best thing ever. It takes a day and a half to grow. So let's go ahead and buy three of these, and then we'll go to our farm and plant them and get some little nernies. Oh, so we have mail here. It took me way too long to figure this out, so you might not know yet. You can find nernies and rocks laying around your farm. Best way to get them. Here are a couple I've already found. Cool, thank you for the three nernies. And then here's another tinsel task to repair our farmhouse. So we're going to need 12 planklets, eight nernies, and five clothlets. So we already have a little clothlet here, and then the planklet, we have those. I'm not going to turn in the nernies yet until we finish the friendship machine, so I would like to do that first. So here's our little like overview of things that we had to turn in, and we can hit B to expand kind of see what we need to turn in. So the nerdies are gonna be for the friendship sticker machine. Here we go, we're going to plant our little seeds. Sorry, this is gonna be a little bit unorganized. And then we can hit tab and we can move things around. We actually already have some muzz seeds. Put a little clicky claws here, some little muzz here, and then the little carrots here. And go ahead and give them a little dribble. So let's go ahead and actually break some of these rocks. As you can see, we're about out of energy, so we won't be able to do very much. So we just got three nernies, and we need ten. So, oh, she's tired. Okay, we just got three more, I think. Let's see, we have a total of twelve. That's perfect. That's how much we need for... The little friendship sticker thing so we're gonna go ahead and turn those in so let's go ahead so we just finished the sorbets and then we just finished the nernies we just have to wait for the sweetie weenie to finish growing so i don't want to go to bed too early actually you can't go to bed too early you can just take a nap until nighttime. um but i'm gonna go ahead and turn in these little nernies here. So we need five more and then we need some more clothlets. So we can find those clothlets around town or we can grow them or we can actually purchase them with wishies. So if we go, there's two different ways to spend our wishies. If we go over to the wishy well here, then we can spend our wishies here and here's just a list of things that we can purchase. So we can actually purchase the clothlets and then we can purchase a couple more things too. We only have 40 wishies, so I'm just gonna wait until we have a couple more wishies. We can also hit tab and just hit wishy well here, so we don't actually have to walk all the way to the wishy well. So, in order to dance with different ooblets, you have to have items to give to them in order to dance with them, so it's not quite like Pokemon that you can just dance with anyone you see, so. You have to actually have the items to do it. Oh look, we got another badge incoming. So that means we should get a couple more wishies too. We just gotta wait for the little badge ooblet to come. There he comes, he's running. We're over here. There he is. Another badge already? I'd better start sewing some more. We just got a collecting one badge. Collect 60 forgeables, and then we just got 40 wishies. So let's go ahead and turn in our nernies here. So we have all the nernies, so we just need some clothlets. Then we also need a sweetie beady, and then we'll have finished all the tinsel tasks that we have right now. So let's see what we have at the wishy well. So we have 80 wishies. I would quite like to expand needs seeds shop just so that we have a few more seeds options. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe I'll go ahead and use that speedy grow so I can get it out of my inventory because it is useful and helpful. So I'll go ahead and use this. So let's use it on our little, our little lump stump. So now our lump stump is ready. So let's go ahead and harvest our little lump stump. There he is. It's Lump Stump, a woodsy ooblet found in forests around Badgetown. Scientists are divided on classifying Lump Stump's head branches as ears or horns. I feel like they're ears, in my opinion. I think they're ears. So there's our little Lump Stump. So we could actually go to the Lurney and um, get Ragnolia to scan our Lump Stump, but 
I say we go ahead and tuck into bed now so we can go ahead and sleep, sleep until morning, yeah. So if you sleep too early, then you actually just take a nap. So you have to wait until nighttime to actually sleep. So we get experience at the end of the day based on things that we found and then things that we planted and just like ooblets that we battled with and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And these are today's ooves that are spotted around town. And there are like almost like shinies of different ooblets. Definitely not as rare as on Pokemon, but there's our little ooblets for the town. So now it says that we can start collecting wishies earn them from completing daily goals, earning badges, completing tinsel tasks, and winning dance tournaments. So these are like our, yes, we know, we know. As you level up, you unlock new wishy wheel options. Cool, cool. So these are like our daily tasks here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video right here. I hope you enjoyed watching this Ooblets video. It's something different from Sims. If you guys wanna see different videos other than just Sims, then let me know. I quite enjoy like switching up a little bit and adding a little bit more variety to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love Ooblets so much. I think it's such like a calming, relaxing game. The art style is so, so, so cute. I really do enjoy this game. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!